Talk a lot of farming these days. Tonight we're talking about a hobby farm up in southwest Minnesota. It has fans uh, blowing in to check things out from all over. Yeah, that's because the 10 acres just north of Jasper, Minnesota are filled with rare windmills. Matt Holson takes us on a tour of the unique farm. If you have the energy, head to southwest Minnesota and find renewal in this peaceful country setting. We get a lot of compliments. People take a lot of pictures and send them to us. This small portion of land belongs to Terry and Chris Rodman. And if you haven't noticed already, the married couple of 33 years has quite the collection nestled off of Highway 23 north of Jasper. Oh, yeah, looks of them, and now it's a challenge of finding odd ones. 43 windmills are up at the property, some from the 1800s, and 50 are waiting to be repaired across the road. How do you come across this many windmills? He works at it. <laughs> we you... drive around a lot. <laughs> it's a hobby that keeps going and going. Do you think he's crazy for having all these? <laughs> no. <laughs> While Chris thinks the pieces have certainly piled up over the years, Terry, a retired welder, says his passion actually started with a request from his better half. So it's your wife's fault? <laughs> yes, right. <yep. laughs> and Ben, that Dutch one, but we wouldn't have started. <laughs> well, I like the Dutch one just because I'm half Dutch. <laughs> and, then, and then he built that big Dutch one because I wanted a little Dutch one. And he said, if we're going to have a windmill, we're going to have a windmill. Standing dozens of feet high, it's quite the sight. You can even go inside the building Terry built from scratch. Neighbors took notice, and from there, more requests came blowing in. Come and get mine. The other one, come and get mine. And it just grew from there. Some of them, sitting on the banks of Split Rock Creek, are rare. Well, that's an odd one, all that's right. That's an odd there's, one. There's, uh, there's only two of them in the country. Many of them come from places all over the world, including China and Brazil. That one come from the Netherlands, and it is so different that uh, it took me all winter to figure out how it goes back together because they took it apart, cut it up to get it in a box to get it here. Not all of these took a pretty penny to acquire, but windmill shopping can send you down an expensive path. Sometimes we get them for nothing, but otherwise they cost us $20,000. Well, it adds up. <laughs> but don't most hobbies? It's a hobby the Rodmans are happy to share. Chris says roughly 150 visitors stop by every year for a scheduled tour, and others just pull over to shoot the breeze. Quite often, yes, or slow down, if nothing else, but they'll stop. She's become an expert tour guide, and she wouldn't have it any other way. Good to go. That's what they're here for. That's why it's nice to be on Highway 23. The stockpile isn't slowing down, and neither is the couple. Both are 74 years old, but say there's no limit for the growing farm. Terry's interest won't be fading into the wind anytime soon. Double fan one down here is probably most people's favorite. It's got two fans, one goes right and one goes left and goes into a center gearbox. Centered on providing a fun space for themselves and guests, work will continue spinning here. Chris says her kids even encourage them to keep building. It's called, so who's going to take care of it when we're not able? That's the next problem, but we just take one day at a time.